This is the bag that I was expecting to receive from Mercari. And I can tell you, this is the grossest barely used purse I've ever received. So if you want to see what I really got, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and yes, I have gloves on because that's how gross this bag is in here. I don't even want to touch it. But anyway, my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. Today is a bit of a cautionary tale and I have uh, regrets on not asking appropriate questions on Mercari for this bag. Um, I'll get into that in a minute, but like I said, I can't even touch this bag with my hands because it was so gross when I took pictures originally. Uh, I felt disgusted because I was lied to. And let's just get into what I saw. First off, we have the Reme Rebecca Minkoff bag, dust bag with hair all over it. Literally, grossness. I don't care if it came with a dust bag, that wasn't my thing. <laughs> so let me just open this and then we'll talk about it. And they said there was no odor, barely used, one owner, she was a collector, supposedly. And let me just get this out for you. And let me show you the inside of this dust bag to give you an idea of the green flakes that were coming off those hard the hardware pieces like how disgusting i've never seen anything tarnish so bad in my life and like i said i'll pop up a picture of the listing and there was some green uh tarnishing but i've never seen anything like what i'm seeing on this so let's just throw this over here and yeah so let's just gently pick this up this is a coach legacy bag 65th anniversary i've been looking for the right one for the right price for a while and this one popped up and i usually look at people's mercari stats and what that means is i look at have they got sales have they been on there and been rated so I do my due diligence and so this one it only had three pictures and let me get a little closer here it had three pictures and it was my mistake for not asking for more one so always ask for more two I assumed they weren't lying to me <laughs> and look at this the green, I have never seen a tarnished gross stuff like this in my entire time of buying bags. And this came out of Arizona. I'm not going to release the name of this person but because I am getting a return label and they already uh, processed my return for this bag. But I'll tell you more about that. Let me start from the beginning. <laughs> Also, look at this water spot. And I'll pop in the pictures of what, you know, they showed. So, this part looks decent, right? They didn't show the bottom of the bag, which I should have asked for. Not really that big of a deal. Uh, but calling it barely used, uh, yeah, I don't think so. And then this mark right here was definitely not on the pictures that I saw. And then, yeah, you could tell it, it's it's rough. And so, first things first, I paid $55 for it, all in. And they shipped it, but they shipped it three or four days later. Usually, people are fast about shipping their items. Well, this one, 
used FedEx and I've never seen anyone use FedEx for shipping Mercari either which I'm like well it's an option that's fine whatever and it was dropped off at a Walgreens a FedEx location I guess is in Walgreens I always assumed that FedEx would be faster than USPS well this took 10 days to get to me <laughs> 10 days from FedEx to get to me and when it arrived there's an odor it's been used it's got these green things that are flaking off and then let me show you the inside of this they they took the picture so well that they didn't even <laughs> look how gross this is if I knew and saw all these pictures of the damage I would have never bought this bag I buy bags that are a little bit rough but this is completely un called for I cannot believe they called this barely used I mean look how dirty look how dirty that is <sighs> I don't know what they've got stuffing in here but yeah this stuff just flakes off have you ever seen a green tarnish like that before one I would have thought they would have got that off before sending it right look at this buckle and then, again, barely used, yet look at the inside of this. Dirty. They never said or showed any pictures of this at all. And look at this. Green everywhere. Never showed the picture of the backside. Never showed that watermark. Let me show you the inside. Oh, I'm just so grossed out by this bag. I mean, it is a heavy, nice leather, but I didn't want this kind of bag. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, can't believe that I was Ricky dude on this deal. And there's the Creed, and it's the 65 anniversary. They called the color whiskey, which I think it is. Um, but yeah, they didn't show this stain. They kind of manipulated the picture where you could see just like a little part of that and for the most part it's kind of clean inside but let me show you this back pocket look at disgusting I mean I don't know where this bag has been <laughs> so bottom line is I of course sent pictures in to Mercari when I opened it, I was grossed out. Because <laughs> in the pictures, there was some green. And I would have cleaned that up. But this is like way unacceptable. <laughs> if they would have been upfront and honest. And listed all the problems with it. I think that they would have gotten maybe 20 bucks. Maybe. I mean, that they didn't even try to clean it. <laughs> so, yeah. It smells of like old storage or... Maybe it smells of that green stuff. I don't know. Be sure and ask for more pictures. Uh, make sure they've had ratings and other sales, which they did. So I don't know, you know, what the deal is with this person. But, and, and they did answer my question. It did come with the actual medallion, which is cool because you want the whole set when you're getting this. But, yeah, on their listings, you know, I saw other bags and accessory things on their Mercari account. Well, they only had about 11 or 12, and but they had been rated and good ratings. They had a Portland leather good bag that someone rated. So, I was honestly thought that they were honest about their listing. <laughs> Because if they have zero sales, zero other listings, I ignore those because those are uh, rep. They're usually replica bags from Coach because they have zero other listings, zero ratings. Avoid those listings. <laughs> so back to this, I reached out to Macari. They said they approved my return, which is I mean it's obvious that this is not what the description said so Mercari did the right thing now they sent me the shipping label and I wanted to share <laughs> uh, 
my experience so you can be more careful and usually I am like I should have asked for more pictures ask for every angle but I didn't and this is the crazy part about this bag right here so I went to this account the person that's selling this bag and guess what the exact same stock photos that they used for me when buying this bag is now listed again with those exact three photos and now it's 75 dollars so if you ever come across this bag and there's only three photos ask for more because i did report it i don't know if they're just trying to relist this because i'm going to return it well but you're relisting it with false pictures. That is not all the story of this bag. So be careful when buying secondhand. I hope this helps you make sure you get all kinds of pictures. Ask all the questions because even people like me get, <laughs> get scammed. So I'm going to call it scammed because... I think I was scammed on this one. Yeah, it's the real bag. The Creed matches, but they did not tell me about how bad this bag really was. And this mark right here was definitely not on the pictures. Like, I can't. And this green stuff. Ooh, yeah. So anyway, there's my cautionary tale. I will get a refund full refund uh, once they receive the package back. So now I just uh, ship it at a FedEx location and get my money back. <laughs> so luckily it's a happy ending because this is really disgusting. <laughs> like I don't even want to touch it with my bare hands. So anyway, I thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you're ever on Poshmark and Mercari, always Look at their ratings, look at the other sales, look at everything. If there's only one sale or zero sales, move on because it's probably a rip. <laughs> so, thank you again and I will talk to you so soon with better unboxings coming up because my birthday is Sunday, May 5th. And uh, I think this is going to go up before that, so we'll see. <laughs> if not... Uh, I do have future unboxings beyond my birthday, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye!